They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. How are you doing today? Are you waiting on the Lord for something? Well, while you are waiting, enjoy your waiting time with the Lord. Today behind me is a picture of some beautiful waterfall. And yes, this is an old one. Uh, once again, from one of the movies that I had seen. And uh, I just love water. There's just no two ways about it. There's something about water, any form, drinking it, looking at it, the ocean, the waterfalls, just all the way around. Love, love, love water. And I love how water grows things, you know, beautiful flowers, beautiful trees and plants, all sorts of things. God is so good. He knew what he was doing when he created earth. Amen. Amen. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. The scripture is from Psalm 91, 4 from NIV. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Amen. Today's title is Covered. The enemy has schemes and strategies to try to keep you from your destiny. People an illness or bad breaks may be set in motion and headed to your address with your name on it to cause you trouble. But when you make the Lord your God, when you stay under the shelter of the Most High, the scripture says he covers you with his wings. He'll hide you from things that could have brought you down and you didn't even know it. You're not at risk. You're not open game for whatever the enemy wants to do. You don't have to worry that at any moment something bad can happen. God has you covered. Even if trouble comes, you're still covered. That sickness can't finish you off. That accident can't take you out. That layoff can't stop your purpose. That difficulty is not your, how your story is going to end. God has the final say. He's not only going to take care of what's trying to stop you, but he's going to bring you out better. Amen, amen, amen. Do you agree with that? I do, I do, I do. Praise be to God. The prayer here today is, Father, thank you that you have a secret place, a safe place, where I can dwell, covered with your feathers, under your wings, abiding in peace. Thank you that you control what trouble comes when trouble comes my way. I believe that you have the final say in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. So agree with that. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow. Aloha.